All right, well, it is uh, almost six o'clock in the morning. I've been up since three o'clock, no, 3.30, because um, I have a lot of canning to do today. And thank God for my husband who helped me cut tomatoes last night for two hours. Literally, between the both of us, we were cutting tomatoes for two hours. And let me just show you what I have going on here, okay? Um, I've got some salsa here. Okay, maybe you can see that there. And in my garage, actually I should check on them. I've got my Amish canner, let me show you. Here we have the canner going. On my camp chef. Love this thing. I'm so glad, honestly, that I got the canner because it really, it, I mean, I can fit so many pints in here and quarts. It just breaks my time in half. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to attempt to make strawberry pie filling. Um, I've never have done this before, but they're kind of thawing out. I had some extra strawberries and, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to be using the WEC jar system, and let me tell you about that a little bit. Now, I got the WEC jars for my 40th birthday. I wanted them so bad, and um, mainly because, well, for two reasons. One, they're obviously beautiful. They're gorgeous, and um, I'll show you the lids, too. They're really pretty as well. Uh, but the other reason why was because I really wanted to learn how to can through the metric system and why not learn how the rest of the world, you know, cans. And this was just one of the ways I was able to tap into that. And what I found that was really actually disappointing in my research was that these jars and this whole method here of canning is considered non-USDA approved. And I just think that that's absolutely ridiculous. And because it's a fine product and it works well and it does the job. And that's why I have, you know, issues with certain recipes and things like that, because, you know, I mean, if it, I have the confidence in certain things that I put in my foods because it works. Um, but I'm just talking about what I do. But still, it's a fine, beautiful system. And I think that canning just kind of goes beyond um, just how I've learned how to do it here in the United States. People have been putting up food um, all over the world and they've been able to su successfully do that. So uh, anytime I can get a chance to learn how to do that, um, I'm gonna do it. But it is a little bit of a learning curve on how to use these, but I assure you, uh, they're I would just say a fine, wonderful product. Uh, it does have a gasket and now normally I would uh, make sure that the gaskets were heated up in nice hot water and then I just place it around making sure that it's flat on top of the lid, nice and flat, and then placing it flat on top of the jar. And then it comes with clips. Now for the bigger jars, I like to use three clips. and. When I'm putting a clip on, I hold down the lid, making sure that this side doesn't pop up as I'm clipping the other side. And then I clip this side and then the other. And then I kind of spread them around, making sure the clips, making sure that there's like an equal distance between all three of them as much as I can. And that's pretty much it. And then I process it. Now this is a, uh, the tulip um, series, I guess, or line, the tulip line that they have. And this one's a liter. This is the closest in the tulip line uh, for a quart. Um, and I like to use my book. I think I have it right here. And uh, this really helped me as far as converting um, the, you know, the measurements the, from the metric to English. So I, I really liked that book. It has some beautiful recipes. I, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in it. 
but yeah, I'm glad to finally break these out and use them. I don't know how the strawberry pie filling is going to turn out. I'm like looking at them because they're frozen. They're not like fresh. I heard that you're not, that strawberries don't really do well as a pie filling. I don't know. Maybe you guys could tell me. Uh, so we'll see how they turn out. All right, let me just interrupt myself from talking to you guys from the table because what I did was end up taking a quick nap because I was exhausted. So forgive me if I was fumbling my words. Um, and then I got up, made the strawberry pie filling, but I wanna show you what those jars look like in the Amish canner. And this is important because when I have my you know regular canner, these jars are a lot wider at the bottom. They're more wide at the bottom. So I'm gonna be able to fit less jars in my regular canner than I would in my Amish canner. So I'm so glad I have this. Let me show you. All right, I'm going to open this up here. And they look absolutely beautiful. I've got six of them in here. Now I think this quart, I mean this quart, ugh, I'm so tired. This canner fits about 15 quarts and I only have six of these jars in here. And I put would have only been able to put two more in here. So I just thought that that would be important to show you. And uh, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad I have the canner. I know I, I talk about it all the time. But the fact is, is again, anything that I can put underneath my belt to make myself more self-reliant in the kitchen, I'm gonna do that. So having this system here, um, you know, with the Amish canner uh, lets me be able to, I guess, tap into other uh, ways of canning and not have to worry about the space. But anyway, this was just a very short video to bring you guys along in the reality of, you know, building up a pantry for winter. It's a lot of work. Now, let me know what you're canning. Let me know what you're putting up in your pantries. I always love to read the comments. I do apologize for not being able to get to every single one. They're just, they're just coming in. I try to answer or like um, through small bucket fools. <laughs> That's what has been advised to me as much as I can. Anyway, you guys take care and God bless.